wanting to go back and take you back in years. Today, the Army is piece of culture is valuable for to your being. What made you decide on a career in uniform? Gare, I come from a civil background with uh, nobody else in the armed forces, maybe very distant traditions. Uh, my father was a businessman and he was determined to send all of us to Gordon. My elder sister went to class one. I was sent initially, I came back and he insisted and I joined Sanic School. And all my friends were, it was a military-like atmosphere, but all my friends were joining the army and uh, I really had no second thoughts, just joined the army. I joined NDA in fact in 1969. And um, looking back now, 45 years later, uh, no regrets at all. In fact, uh, if you take the army out of my life, uh, I would feel uh, hollow. In fact, uh, you have schooled at some of the best training institutes across the world and of course in India. In terms of how we train our men and officers particularly, how do we compare? Let me say the Indian Army is a unique institution. And really, uh, to compare us with any other armed forces would be unfair because the kind of challenges that the Indian Army faces I don't think any other armed forces in the world face that. And let me explain. Uh, we have multiple challenges, different kinds of borders, different kinds of terrain. We take for starting from Siachen, the Tibetan Plateau, the Dark Plains, the line of control, and then you come down to the plains of Punjab, the riverine terrain, and then you move down to the desert, and then further to the northeast, the jungle infested terrain there. Uh, you also are deployed in the rest of the country including the island territories. Uh, apart from that, uh, India is uh, not part of any grouping or strategic alliance and therefore we need independent territorial states. And that capability has to be across the spectrum of conflict, starting from the subconventional to the highest level of a conventional uh, conflict with an Indian background. But this makes it really challenging, not only for training but for, for manning. Now you cannot specialize your uh, battalions, and you would understand with us armed forces background. You cannot have a battalion uh, posted in Siachen for more than three to six months. Thereafter, they have to be rotated. Uh, similarly, a battalion or a regiment of artillery or someone who engineers who comes down from the high altitude may well get posted to the desert. Now look at that man who was posted in the high altitude, the icy peaks of Ladakh and then he comes down to the desert to a totally different terrain. 